Welcome, Welcome to Canada! Canada. from Game Hunters R Us. It's been a while since I've posted a video, I think more than a month now, but uh, I have a few things to talk about. Some game related, some not. Because this is a video game channel, of course, I'm going to talk about the game stuff first. Except, I guess, the one is really obvious, so I got myself a haircut. <laughs> anyway, when it comes to games, I haven't been doing too much over the last month because I've been busy with other stuff. But I've had enough time here and there to pick up some games and look a little bit every every now and then anyway. So, the, the first thing I'm going to show you, I talked briefly about this before and how I didn't want to get it at first because it's going to take me a little while to finish the game anyway. But uh, I found it used for 40 bucks, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PlayStation 3. This actually included a working blimp code too, which I used. And, uh, yeah, there's that. And, uh, I actually forgot to mention this in my last video, but... About a month or so ago, I actually upgraded my PlayStation 3's hard drive. I have the original 60 gig unit, so it's fully backward compatible, but the hard drive fills up pretty quickly when you have so many games that have forced installs. So this is the old 60 gig hard drive. I now have a 500 gigabyte hard drive in there. And uh, if anyone wants a 60 gigabyte hard drive, I have no use for it, so you can take it for free. Just let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. So now I have a fully backward, backward compatible 500 gigabyte PlayStation 3. It's a standard laptop hard drive in case you want it. Anyway, the same day I bought this, my PlayStation 3 died. Yellow light of death. <laughs> So, uh, I just got it back today. I just, I repaired it locally because it's better than sending it out to Sony. It, you won't, probably won't get the same version back, and if you put one hard drive from one system into a different one, it'll try to reformat it on you. So it's, it's better just to get it fixed locally. It's cheaper. You'll get it back a lot faster. And you'll get the same one back for sure. And, uh, so that was, that was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, but, uh, in between my broken PlayStation 3 and getting it fixed, a bunch of friends of mine, including Josh, from this game channel, from this YouTube channel, also, they wanted to have a, vi a gaming night for Grand Theft Auto Online on the 360 version. <laughs> So I found another copy of the game for 30 bucks on Kijiji. <laughs> so now I have both versions of the game. And uh, this one didn't have a working blimp code or anything, but it was only 30 bucks. And now I have two copies of the game. Because I don't really have Xbox Live Gold anymore, I actually borrowed... I, I used my own two-day pass for it, which only worked for 18 hours, thanks Microsoft. And then I borrowed a two-day pass from Josh, because he still has Xbox Live Gold. And then I used that to play it for about a day or so. So, after that, what I'm probably going to end up doing, for the most part, I'll play single-player in this version, and online in this version, because as much as I'm not much of an online gamer, I actually really like GTA Online, so... <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I guess that's about it for 
video game stuff. Because I had to pay to get my PS3 repaired, it's going to slow down any game purchases I'll get this month, not to mention Christmas shopping and all that. So I won't be able to get much, if anything, until after my Christmas bonus. In the meantime, there's... So that, that's all that I have to talk about with video games. With other stuff... First of all, the reason why I haven't posted in about a month is... I mentioned this in the last video, NaNoWriMo, this thing where you try to write a novel inside a month, organized online. I met a lot of really cool people who are, were also doing it locally, including a someone who was actually both a professional editor and a recently published writer, and then an independent comic writer, webcomic, writing something called Cadaverific, which is about an accidental resurrection. It's actually kind of fun, more fun than half the professional work out there. Don't expect professional quality work in terms of art and everything, but it's good and there's a lot of potential with it. So, uh, should be one of the first results on Google if you look up Cadaverific. It's, it's a free webcomic, so it's worth looking at if you're into that kind of stuff. And, uh, but... In order to win NaNoWriMo, you have to write at least 50,000 words in one month. I managed to do 150,000 word, 150, words in 28 days, so that's enough to win three times. <laughs> I guess I won. But, uh... Yeah, it was, it was definitely worth doing. I'll probably try to do it again next year. And, uh... I'll add links to my NaNoWriMo journals in the video description in case you want to check that out. And, uh... So that's it for NaNoWriMo, and also... Sorry about the lighting in this video. I'm... I, in the last few days, I've been. In the last few shifts at work, I've had some severe dry eye in the middle of my shift. It might, must be something about the air there. I'm hoping this is only a temporary thing, but if not, it's going to be kind of a rough summer because it's giving me some. It's giving me eye strain like symptoms. That's why I'm not having a light shining in my eyes right now. I can still play video games for like 40 minutes at a time. But I can't. I can't play for too long, and I I can't watch too many movies in a day, so I've been spending a lot of time this week reading. But I was just playing this a little bit earlier, it's, it's still fun, just can't play it for too long before taking a break. I've always had trouble with dry skin in the winter time, and I guess, I hope this year it's not going to be just my eyes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I, I guess that's all I really have to talk about today. And, uh, see ya.